Hey y'all, how you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you've never been here before, this is not normal. <laughs> I usually don't sound like a frog. Um, if you have been here before, I'm glad you're back and I'm sorry for the absence. Obviously, I've been sick. <laughs> um, this is an interesting little read that I did. Um, during the full moon eclipse in Scorpio, I channeled for over 13 straight hours, did all 12 signs, very super long readings. Um, I got into some weird Sabian symbol stuff and some spells for you guys and all kinds of craziness. 13 decks of cards. It was nuts. All right. And the readings were super long and like they did not get a lot of views because YouTube does not like to plug long videos. They're on to shorts now. So I just wanted to make sure that you got these very special messages. I had done a, you know, full general energy check with the Slavic cross. I did full hoodoo tarot warning messages. I did uh, you versus them love connection. I did oracle pulls, um, something else. I don't remember, but there's lots. All right. So I'm going to be reposting these into shorter, more manageable videos to make sure that you guys got all your messages. I worked really hard to curate these 13 decks. Please check out the original reading because I feel like for continuity purposes, it works better when you watch it all together because I reference back and forth to things during the reading that happened prior, you know. Um, and also make sure that you check out the extended where I read to you from all of these lovely, beautiful books that we used for your read. Oh my gosh, I'm such a nerd. Um, and give you all the oracle messages and special meanings and things like that, okay? If you guys would like to support my channel or book a personal reading, donate, whatever, I would greatly appreciate it right now as I am not doing well. <laughs> um, all that info is in the description box below. All right, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoy your reading. Here you go. Here are your channeled oracle messages that we got for you guys. Start with your moon energy. And again, if you guys want a personal reading, Please go ahead and book one of those. And if you appreciate all this hard work that I'm doing for you for free, if you would like to send a donation, I am a struggling single mama with two little babies, and I would really appreciate it. Or, you know, book that personal. All right. That was quick, Libra. Full moon in Taurus. Capricorn pulled a full moon also. This says your dreams need a practical plan. All right. Libra, you guys are very practical people. You always see both sides of the coin and you always, you know, know right from wrong. You kind of always know what the right thing to do is for whatever reason you don't, all right? Especially regarding your dreams. It's a full moon, all right? Whatever you want to manifest for yourself, whatever you're trying to get, whatever it is that you've been working towards, it's not, you don't have the clear path yet, okay? Can't wait to get to your, you know, enchanted path oracles or whatever those are called. Enchanted map to see what's on your road because I feel like something's wrong with the path here. Some of you guys might be shooting too far. All right, moon energy is delusional. Full moon energy is lunacy. All right, you might be, you know, whoa, dream big. You know, it's like a little too big. You don't want to rein it in a little bit. It might not be practical at this time to, you know, get what it is that you want right now. Um, full moon in Taurus, though. All right, it's a full moon in Scorpio. Taurus is at the, you know, north node, though. It's the energy of the time, but you're in the opposite, all right? It's like you're fighting against the grain, okay? It's kind of what I feel like. It's achievable, though, all right? They wouldn't be telling you that you needed this practical plan if you couldn't actually achieve these goals with your practical plan. So you need to get into, like, Virgo energy with this. I know this is Taurus, and it's Earth, but it's Earth, and it feels Virgo. Virgos always have a good practical sensible plan all right that's the kind of energy i feel like you need to be channeling here it's also time to let go of old ways of doing things like the definition of stupidity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result i don't know if i showed you that card there it is full moon in taurus pay attention to the you know times of the year that the full moon is in taurus look at that also look at your taurus placements where are those those might be areas where we need to start, you know, planning better, strategizing better. You're an air sign. You have the ability to do that. I feel like you guys can't figure out which way to go because I feel like you can see value in two different paths right now. But the problem is, is you can't follow two at the same time. You got to put it all into one. 
All right, narrow it down. Show me your, you know, planetary and zodiac energies. There it is, the sun in reverse. That's no bueno. Leo energy in reverse, sun energy in reverse. A lot of you guys are losing confidence, all right? When I see that you need a practical plan to your dreams, you're starting to feel unhappy, you're starting to feel frustrated, you're starting to feel unseen, you're starting to feel like, you know, you're not gonna get anything you want, like you're getting colder, not hotter. It's like, I tell that hot, cold game. Uh, you, you feel like you're losing ground. You can't see, you know, right now. Sun, The sun is obscured. It's a lunar eclipse, not a solar eclipse. Get out of your head about it. Don't lose faith here. I don't like the sun in reverse for you, though. That is, you know, a lack of joy. That is being in the dark. I said the same thing for Capricorn. Even if you are not ready for the day, it cannot always be night. You guys have something good coming to you. I feel it. I feel it. Give me your energy. What's the zodiac sign we're dealing with? Come on. There it is. Who are you? Aquarius energy. Your fellow air sign. This is you being self-sacrificing. This is you putting your dreams on hold for other people. There's Leo in reverse. Yeah, you need to be the star. All right? You need to be the star here. You need to be the center of attention. You don't need to be the middleman like Libras are notorious for doing. You need to be selfish, which is not Leo nature. I mean, not Libra nature, okay? It's not Libra's nature to be selfish. It's Libra's nature to be, you know, just and to do the right thing. Aquarian energy is very humanitarian. It's about doing what's best for the collective as a whole. It's being self-sacrificing. It is, you know, martyr energy, rebel energy. It's, again, going against the grain. It's doing things in an unconventional way. Aquarius energy is rebellious. It's Uranus energy. It's, you know, not the norm. It's not practical, all right? They're called the aliens for a reason. They don't make sense to a lot of people. You're getting really unhappy here. There's like a, um, a crossing of wires, okay? You feel like nobody understands you. You're tired of being misunderstood and it's starting to, you know, sink you kind of into a depression, some of you. Okay. You guys also don't see your uniqueness or the fact that you do have the ability to effectuate some kind of change and be of service to humanity and, you know, your fellow man or woman, whatever. Okay. Let's get your energy for the Beltane Oracle. I was doing five shuffles for these for Taurus energy. Show me what Libra needs to know. Show me the energy of the season right now that is best serving to Libra currently. One more. I feel like I need to do a random. Give me one card for Libra. That's two cards. I'm not going to look at them. I only take it if it's one. It's all about intention. Reading tarot is all about intention and intuition. All right. Give me one card for Libra. There it is. Primal. Hmm. Interesting. Keep it simple, stupid. Primal is simple, right? Primitive survival. I've been, P.S., I've been binge watching like alone and naked and afraid and shows like that lately all these primitive survival skills and these people that just go out and live off the land and the earth primal this is keeping it very simple you're making something too complicated you're over complicating something you're getting in too much of an air sign energy over analyzing you're going back and forth like a gemini would instead of being the libra who balances out all of those ideas that the gemini has and the overwhelming amount of choices and actually makes the you know just decision on which one to take you're like in two of swords energy you're refusing to choose they want you in primal energy. First of all, primal energy was all about survival and doing whatever it took to make sure that you didn't die. All right. You guys, again, like I said, you don't want to be selfish. You're trying to look out for the greater good. Aquarian energy, when they're wanting you to be primal, primal was very self, very focused on the immediate family, not the whole community because there wasn't enough for that yet. All right. We didn't advance to that yet. We were still primal. This is the energy that you have at your disposal, all right? Tapping into your ancestors, look into your ancestry, what's going on with that? This is number 32, that breaks down to a five. This is a complicated energy for you. Five 
I said it in the Capricorn reading because it kept coming for them, is the most uncomfortable energy in the tarot. It feels like an ending. It feels like, you know, devastating energy. It feels very confusing and conflicting, but it's only the middle of the road. It's only the middle of the journey. It's, you know, we still got a lot to go. So this is concerning, okay? It says, there is no other way around but through the very truth that lives within you. A lot of you guys need to tap into whatever it is that your ancestors left you with. Summon up those energies to, you know, go primal. Go with your instincts. Primal is also very much about instincts and doing, you know, what is necessary in the moment. Not overthinking. If you overthought, you know, during primitive times, you'll get eaten, you know, by an animal. Or you'll drown. Or you'll die. Or if you drink the wrong water, you know, dysentery. It's like... It's an immediate decision. There's no sitting on the fence with primal energy. It is like, it is now. And it has to be done because it's a necessity to survive. That's what they want you to be doing. Realize that these plans that you need to make, they need to make sense. They need to be practical. They need to be primitive. Primitive is practical and simple. You're overthinking. You're overcomplicating. All right? Stop doing that. Um, let's see. Let's get a message from your ancestors from the universal folk oracle what does libra need to know what do you guys want to tell libra right now that's quick hidden number 13 scorpio energy three plus one is also a four all right we've got four energy stability it says wisdom elementals fairy and uncover you guys have a lot hidden from your ancestry primal instincts urges all right things that you suppress or things that you feel guilty about i don't know i get that it's why you're trying to be this aquarian energy you don't have to pay for your ancestors mistakes but you you know you can't repeat them you were gifted a lot of you know ancestral wisdom that i feel like you have not tapped into it says elementals fairy and uncover 13 is scorpio energy scorpio is the detective of the zodiac they you know are the ones that will solve any mystery you can't hide anything from a scorpio we know everything i'm a scorpio moon p.s so yeah there's that you need to like really tap into your inner wisdom you have a lot of untapped potential that i feel like you don't realize i feel like you're afraid to see that a lot of you guys like you're totally just like losing faith in yourself you need to get your mojo back libra all right. All right. Let's lighten it up with a little bit of weird humor here and get your little um, Fantod pack card. Let's see what that is. You got the bottle. I don't know what that derpy little animal is in there. This is you. You feel like genie in a bottle. You're a genie in a bottle. Jeannie was trapped in that bottle, but Jeannie found a workaround. She manifested herself ways out of there. She would trick people into summoning her, or, you know, she would always get her way. She found a workaround. You couldn't keep her contained. Also, this is like your wish is being granted, but you have to ask for the wish. You have to say the wish to the Jeannie to get it. You guys are playing small. You're allowing yourself, you're bottling things up literally, like bottling up emotions. The longer you do that, the, you know, bigger this bottle gets and like the harder it is to get out, okay? Also, just so you know, think about science here. You're in this bottle that's empty. You want out of this bottle and you can't reach the top. The best way to, you know, reach the top is to start filling it with water, all right? Until it buoyancy takes you up to the top and you can climb out. You know how you produce water in a situation where you feel like, you know, you've lost all? You cry it out. You feel the emotions. You let the water energy fill up until it strengthens you so you can climb out of the hole that you're in. Um, let's see real quick what this book says about the bottle. Uh, let's see. Ladder, limb, child, insects, effigy, plant, waltzing, mouse, urn, sea, bundle. The bottle. The month is December, all right? It deals with melancholia. What I say? The depression. Itching. Unfortunate publicity. A disregarded warning. Irregularity. An accident on a bicycle. Loss of feeling. Flukes. Vexation. Intrigue. Abandonment. We picked up on that. And frustrated hopes. That's your plans. Not playing out the way they were supposed to. All right? Not wanting to, you know, come up with a new practical workaround. All right. That was your weird little... 
and Todd message. All right, last two cards we're gonna pull for you guys. Your Enchanted Spell Oracle, and then your Mother Mary. What does Libra need to know right now, or what advice or guidance do you have? That was fast. Intellect. You are smart enough to figure this out, all right? But sometimes your intellect, I feel like, might almost be a downfall. You might be too smart for your own good. Some of you, that's why you're having a problems, you know, coming up with a practical plan, because you keep having more ideas, and each one seems better than the other. Also, your intellect is one of your, you know, your biggest strengths. The planet, uh, plant here is Hazel. The dates are August 5th through September 1st. Summertime, Leo time. Leo and Virgo energy here. It's like a balance between the fire and the earth. The inspiration, the courage that a Leo has, and then the, you know, practicality of a Virgo energy that will actually take those grandiose ideas of a Leo and then transform them into something, you know, stable and concrete like a Virgo would and get it done. So Virgo gets it done. That's what they want from you, all right? Or that's your advice. Also, Pisces energy is very important. There's Libra, there's justice on the mind. Libra, Pisces energy, hard. All right, there's that. Make sure you turn into the extended and get the book reading because I will read you, you know, what the book has to say and give you the little recipe for the spell that they have in there and the incantation and all that stuff. Whew, but I can't do that on this one. It's too much. All right, Mother Mary Oracles. By myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me. Speaking words for wisdom, let it be. My broken hearted people living in a world of me. There will be an answer, let it be. All right, Mother Mary, Mother Mary. Who is here to support Libra right now? <laughs> you. You have Our Lady of Divine Presence. This is you feeling like you've been abandoned by your spirit guides because I do feel like, I mean, you got rock bottom and storm, like storm fields. That's hard energy, and it's almost enough to make you start smiting your gods or being spiteful towards them or, you know, asking why they're punishing you. They're not, all right? They only put you through things like that to make you stronger, to build you up. Because they know you can handle it. They never give you more than you can handle. And I know it does not feel that way. I feel it. You guys are like so close, some of you, to just tapping out. But listen, your guides are there. They're even more present during the trying times. This is number 14. That breaks down to a five. Crazy chaotic energy. Temperance, though, it's the angel after death. There is, you know, the dawn is coming. Even if you're not ready for it, all right? Can't always be night up in here. Got to face that sun eventually. Wake up. Pull those curtains open. All right, Libra, that's what I got for you guys. Super long reading, and I love y'all so much. Um, again, if you appreciate my work and you want to support please either send a donation. It's in the description box below how to do that or book a personal reading with me to make sure that I can keep bringing you these readings for free, all right? Because baby's got to eat. Um, Yeah, so there's that. And please don't miss the extended. Love you, Libras. I will catch you on the next one. Bye. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the reading. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys would like to book your own personal reading um, or donate to the channel or check out this original read in its entirety with my masterful 13 deck channeled crazy eclipse read please do that all those links are in the description box below love you guys and i promise to get my voice back to better and on the mend uh catch you next time bye